Oh my goodness, are we at a new house, honey? Are we at a new house? <gasps> Is this a new house? <laughs> She's like, there's so many places to go. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Winnie, did you find your sleeping room? Sorry for the mess, guys. We just are literally transporting everything. This is gonna be your sleeping room. Yeah. Yeah, that's your bed. That's your bed. That's the washroom. She's gonna be exploring for a while. That's the toilet. I wouldn't put your face on that. I'll uh, clean this while you're making the bed. Yeah. Want to do. Yeah. Oh, there is a... There's a moth. There's a moth. To catch it as you squish it. I did not squish it. Winnie, let's go check over here. Come, should we go check the other side of the house? Come on, let's go see this side of the house. Yes, I need assistance. I cut them off. So, not only do we have dogs, we have other wildlife. Watch those big mosquitoes. So, close the door. Hi, baby. Is this a new house for Wayne? Is this your new house? It's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I see a butt. Okay, so that's one of your beds. Don't pee on it though. You're doing the same circles. She's really nervous. Okay. It's okay. Oh, she's so scared. It's okay. This is all for you, sweetheart. <laughs> she doesn't even know where to go. It's all for you. <laughs> Got some closet. Winnie's doing our house tour. This is the most romantic house tour. Winnie! That's another bed for you. This is a bathroom. <laughs> She's going get oh. <laughs> I think this makes her nervous. In the down, she doesn't like stairs. She's never gonna go down those. She's always hated facing stairs. <laughs> That's a closet. <laughs> I just saw her butt. Yeah. So as you can tell, we are currently, it's our first day officially at our new house, which has been awesome. And Winnie loves it. She's just walking around, enjoying everything. She was just lying outside in the sun, having a good time. Once again, sorry it's so echoey in here. But we're gonna get into today's video. We're gonna be showing you guys our basement tour in just a few minutes. But first, today's video is sponsored by Cheetah Mobile. So Cheetah Mobile was kind enough to send us their CM Smart Instant Language Translator, or Cheetah Talk for short, which is the number one best-selling smart translator on Amazon that provides two-way instant translation with the press of a button. It helps you learn new languages and connect with families and friends. It's easy to use. One press of the button allows for two-way instant translation, and it boasts super long battery life with up to 180 days in standby and 24 hours of continuous use. So this device supports 42 different languages and it's small and portable so you can easily fit it into your suitcase, into a bag while you're traveling. It's also a really great gift idea, especially if you have a traveler in your family. And especially for the not so tech savvy like myself, the Bluetooth pairing makes it an absolute breeze to connect with your phone. And we're gonna demonstrate all of that for you guys right now. So when you download the app, this is the screen that you'll get. So you click on the device that you have. So we have the Cheetah Talk and then it will connect to your phone. Connection successful. There Just you go. like that. <laughs> All right, so this is where you can choose your languages. So we're gonna speak English and you can translate it to anything you want. So let's do some French. All you have to do is just speak into the device itself and watch it go. Hi there, my name is Jessica. There we go. There you go. And the great thing about it as well, it shows up on your phone so you can read it as well. Quite a handy device. It is very awesome. Wanna try something else? Since I only know how to speak French and English, let's do the reverse. C'est quoi est-ce que tu veux? What is it you want? Exactly. <laughs> Attitude. <laughs> but there you go. Like it's honestly a really awesome device. Easy to take around, easy to carry, and I do like the design myself. 
So this is really great for traveling and for learning languages at home and while you're abroad. So we will leave a link to their website down below in the description along with a coupon code for you guys. So if you use the code V10, we'll put this on the screen, you will get $10 off your order. So thank you Cheetah Talk for sponsoring our video. Okay, so the next part of this video is gonna be us showing you our basement, but I wanna wait until it's a bit darker because right now it's beautiful outside. Look at this beauty outside. And it just doesn't set the mood for a creepy basement video. And when you see the entrance to the basement, she's rolling around. <laughs> you missed it. I know, I did. She was rolling around. She's a happy girl right now. So, like I was saying, I want this basement video to be a little spookier. So we're gonna wait until it's dark and then we're gonna take a flashlight downstairs and we're gonna show you the whole entire thing. So sit still. In a few moments, you will see the darkness of the basement. We and we're getting ready because it is time. I don't think she likes that it's time. Woo. It's time to see the basement. And Winnie's gonna stay here because it's very dirty down there. Very dirty because it's unfinished. Well, we just took her for a little bit of a walk, but that doesn't seem to have gotten rid of any of her energy whatsoever. <laughs> She's been very energized all day. She's been taking power naps for about five minutes and that's what's been keeping her going right now. Okay, sweetie, you're gonna stay here, okay? We'll be right back, we'll be like five minutes. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to go out first. <laughs> stay. Into the darkness. Flashlight, Jess. A little bit of light from the outside. So what we wanted to show you guys is that we don't have a very conventional entrance to the basement. <laughs> so this is the entrance to our basement. It's through the garage. There's a little staircase. I might have to go slightly in front of you for the light. Do you want to do like shadow puppets or something? Just the spooky hand, you know. Spooky hand. Let's see if I can make like a dog or something. Yeah, that's kind of a dog. That's you know. pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> do we need keys? Yeah, we do. You want the keys? <laughs> I'll go get the keys. <laughs> How else are we supposed to get down here? I don't know. Okay, now that we have our keys, we're going down. This is like super creepy. Yeah, even during the daytime. Do you feel how much colder it is down here? Yeah, because it's like properly insulated. Right. It's hard to do this with one hand. Why am I creeped out in my own house? You're always creeped out in your own All house. Right. So we have a lot of boxes down here because you know, we're moving in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a very large space. I hope the phone like shows it okay. It barely shows most of it. Really? <laughs> you can't even see the back wall. Really? Yeah. But you can hear Winnie above us because the laundry room is pretty much right there. So I guess we'll have to start from one side. Yeah. So we have our electrical panel and then we have like a little cold cellar over here. I don't know what we're gonna use for because we have a pantry upstairs in the kitchen. I have a good idea of what we can use so, it for. So, what? A cold cellar. <laughs> so this is the cold cellar. The previous owners left us like a few paint cans and stuff. Well, just to touch up stuff and then we have another pump over there. Just because bungalow style homes, they're very spread out. So we need to make sure that if there's any flooding, it gets pumped out. And then we have our staircase. Kind of. Our Harry Potter space. You want to build a Harry Potter space down there though? Why not? Then over here, this is a space that we can make into a bathroom. Yeah, they roughed it in for us, which is really nice. And... Uh, can you turn the camera on over here? Okay, it's just a little hole. It looked like a little fuzzy thing. Hey, you're freaking me out. It was just like a little rabbit. Just rabbits down here. Definitely a weird infestation. Oh, why do I feel like I'm, I'm about to see something really creepy? Well, that's how you always feel when you're using a flashlight. We will turn the lights on at the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys can see everything. We're just trying to be really dramatic right now. So then we got our furnace over here. So this will all be closed off once we like actually finish this yep. part. And this is the entrance into the house. Yep, this is the other entrance. So there's a garage entrance and like a main entrance here. So we'll open this door so you can see Ween. Let there be light. <laughs> Hi, Ween. And there's a Ween. We're coming soon, honey. She's like, what the heck are they doing down there? Are they well, mad? I think it's time for light. Because that was pretty much the entire basement. I think Ty's getting freaked out. A little. Are you really? Yeah. So now you can see it properly. <laughs> Show how long it goes down. Look yeah. how far. Like, stand over here. I know. It's a little it's ridiculous. It's actually insane. It's insane. Actually, stand over here. And then you look down. There's so much room. There's so much room. 
I love how like random the door looks because there's no walls on each side. It's kind of like one of those doors in the movies that like go to like a whole different world. Well, it goes to the upstairs world. Yeah. A lot of work is basically what it means. Yeah, so this is gonna take a while to actually get finished. We're hoping to start it this winter. That would be cool. But for now, it just remains this creepy, huge space that's mm -hmm. in our house that we try to forget about. That we're just living <laughs> over top of. We're living over top of this massive, creepy space. At least there's no like dark corners or like, except in that room. That room's kind of creepy. Yeah, we don't like going in there. But, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty much clothes. it. The bags of clothes. These are my clothes I have to put away. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that either. And then here you go. This was the garage entrance that we came from. So we'll just go back out. But we gotta turn the lights off first. Does this work too? No, look. That's creepy. I'll just go from upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna go now? No. You're creeped out? A little. You're gonna be the last one. Yeah. Ah! I can just turn off this light and make you in the dark too. <laughs> Miss Ween, we are back inside. We're back. So, that is the end of our basement tour. I feel like I look very tired today. I was gonna say you're a few shades paler after being in that basement. Yeah, it's it creepy. It's always eerie. But it won't be once we finish it. Hopefully. That's the plan. It might just look nice and still be creepy. <laughs> yeah. So the reason why I wanted to do a basement tour is because every house that I've lived in, we've done one. At my parents' house, at the old house, this house. So it's kind of like a tradition to do a basement tour. So I know it's weird, but it's kind of like essential for you guys. So let me know the creepy scale down below, one to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. See you guys.